So I have this gaming mouse. I bought it back in 2016 so I could play CSGO. I just wanted a mouse that kind of lit up and had RGB because that's what was cool back then. I should also probably specify that this was a $5 Chinese mouse. How can I tell it's Chinese? Because when I look it up, it literally links to a Chinese domain. I probably have malware on my computer now. It lasted me well though, and I legitimately used it as a gaming mouse for about two years. Now, one thing that I actually kind of overlooked when I had the mouse was the fact that it has a little button right here. You guys can see it. It's that right there. And for those of you who know anything about cheap gaming mice, or if you've watched Tommy in it for a while, you know exactly what that button does. Or well, sort of. It's a double clicker. Alright, so let's do three clicks per second tests here. So first, I'm going to use my normal mouse, which is just like my normal mouse, it's a Corsair Harpoon. And we're going to do a CPS test and see what my CPS is like for it. So I got 7.2 CPS, which is 7.2 clicks per second, and that's about what I average when I'm just like playing Minecraft. The next test that we're going to do is me clicking with the single click button on my old gaming mouse. And I got 7 CPS with that, which is fairly standard as well, even though it's a little bit slower. But as I've noticed over the years, that's about standard since you can't click as fast with this mouse since it is a very generic Chinese mouse. And finally, we're going to test out the double click button here. Oh boy, here we go. Twelve point six CPS. You see that almost doubled what my CPS was. I'll do it again, but I'll single click with the double click button so that you guys can see that it does in fact hit twice. So with that, you could probably hear me only clicking once, but you could see the click counter going up by two each time. That's what the double click button does. And while this mouse isn't as useful for the games that I originally bought it for, which were FPS like CSGO and Overwatch and Rainbow Six, because you can only fire at a certain rate, this is actually insanely good for games like Minecraft, where a lot of it is just how fast you can click on your opponent. And so with that being said, we're gonna test it out in Minecraft. Okay, so we're just here on a generic solo world, literally just by myself, there's no one else on the world with me. And I'm using the mouse, as you can see right here, and we're gonna see what it does. So once again, this is just me clicking normally. As you can see in here, I'm just literally clicking normally and now clicking twice. As you can see in here, there are two distinct clicking noises. This means that if I click really fast with the double click button, I hit really, really fast. Oh my God. And so I can like punch animals twice this way. And it, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess, but like realistically, there's not that much use for it in just like solo Minecraft other than just like going crazy through blocks, but really there's not much to do with it. But I think we should have a little bit more fun with the mouse and I think we should test it out on an unsuspecting friend. Now it's a bit unfortunate that I have to say this, but I think it should be quite obvious that if you have a mouse like this, don't use it when you're competing against other players on a server. You're doubling your click speed, which would in fact be considered cheating. I used the double click feature on my friend in a private world and I knew he would be okay with it because there were no stakes in this at all. However, if you use this mouse on a server like the Hive where some people are competing for leaderboard positions, this would be considered an unfair advantage because you're doubling your click speed as compared to what it normally is. Is. To sum it all up, just don't cheat. Just get good at the game, lol. Now, back to the video. Welcome to my world. As you can see, there are a few things that don't really make sense yet, but they'll, they'll make sense soon. So, just get the blocks in your inventory, and in a second we'll have a race to see who can build up the fastest. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Alright, I think we can stop now. <laughs> You wanna see some oh. even wait, you wanna see some even more fast placing blocks though? Wait. What the heck, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, yeah, click speed. You love to see it. For the next challenge, we'll we'll try and break these blocks right here in front of us as fast as possible. We each have a lane right here, so you ready? Sure. Three, two, one. Oh, I fell in a hole. <laughs> oh no. Next, um, 
We have some we have some grass right here, we have like some circles. We'll stand in the middle and we'll try and see who can break the grass the fastest, okay? Okay. So, three, two, one. There we go, done. Ah. Uh. Have have you have you noticed anything um so far while we've been doing this? So your your click speed's absurdly high. Uh just from my observation and like uh your dreams and stuff like that, whenever I uh watch you play Skywars and stuff like that, your click speed isn't exactly the fast either. Which is why it's kind of throwing me off. Hmm. Hmm. So if I were to just like punch you like this. Yeah, uh, well, see, I'll just punch you like normally. You'll just hear one hit right right there, right? Yeah. But now if I punch you here, anything sound different? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no. No way. So in this chest right here, um, we, we have gear, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think we should uh, battle it to the death here. Alright, 100 pigs, are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. God, you're just comboing, <laughs> you're real. This is insane. This is a, this is Oh an my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <No>. god. <laughs> You hate to see it. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> uh, so I'll come clean now. I've got a mouse with a double clicker on it, and um, yeah, I can I can click kind of fast. <laughs> I can't even fast click with this mouse. That's the thing. <laughs> this mouse is so garbage, but it has a double clicker, which is why I'm using it. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> oh my god. But like, okay, so were you actually thinking about jumping on a server with this bad boy? No, no. Because like you mentioned getting banned in the title, I was like, oh no. I'm gonna have a whole like one minute spiel about how like, I'm 100% not going on servers with this mouse because I would legitimately probably get banned if I went on one. <laughs> Well, yeah, because like uh, it's so fast and yeah. like like it has the same behavior as an auto clicker, except you yeah. can actually miss. Yeah, I, I want to go on. I like want to go on the hive to like test this out, but there's like not an easy way to do so. Like, I, I wish I could just like one v one someone on it, and like if they were okay with it, then maybe I think it's acceptable. But there's not an easy way to one v one, so I can't actually go on a server and really test it out. Again, don't worry, I haven't actually taken this mouse onto any sort of online play other than this private world with just me and 100 pigs. While I really, really wish that I could test it out in actual PvP, I, along with no one else on the server, is above the rules, so I can't. So that's gonna about wrap it up for the video, and to end it off this time, I'm gonna do things a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you some things that you should and should not do after watching this video. To start it off, something that you should not do is go cheat on the Hive or any other online servers. It's bad, don't do it. Something that you should do after this video is go check out my friend 100 Pigs. He makes all sorts of gaming content, and there's something for everyone, so if you like Minecraft or other games like Rocket League or Risk of Rain, be sure to go check him out and drop him a subscription. Another thing that you should do after this video is make sure you're subscribed to me as well. Like I said in previous videos, YouTube sometimes unsubscribes people who have been subscribed for a while for whatever reason, so just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.